What's going on everybody? Welcome to Troy Draws Things. I'm Troy Roberts. Today I'm going to be showing you a few art hacks that I've come across in my years of doing various art. Now this first hack I'm going to show you is a nice easy way to travel with ink. So all I need is a contact lens case. Now these guys, you can get them from Target in a pack of four. The quality of them isn't super important. Get the cheapest you can, is what I'm saying. So, the hack is you've got contact lens case, your ink. Just open up one of these guys. Open up your ink. Fill that up with ink. And I screwed that up a little bit so it's a little sloppy. One sec. Alright, now you can probably see here that there's some ink right around the edge. What I'm going to do is I'm first going to take a rag and wipe that off. And then that leads to hack number two, Vaseline. Now what we're going to do with the Vaseline, we're just going to put a little bit on our finger and spread it all around the threads here. Go ahead and do it on both sides. And then, we're going to screw our caps back on. And this does two things. Number one, it keeps any ink that spills onto the threads from sticking and drying and hardening. And if you've ever used paint or ink before and got some on the threads of your cap, you know that it dries and hardens and then it's a pain in the butt to open up the next time. The ink just rolls right off of the Vaseline so it can never stick and dry on the threads. Another thing it also helps is just it makes the turning of the threads a lot easier. That's hack one and two. Next up is a little bit more of a money saving hack than a straight up hack. It's all about how you clean your brushes or what you clean your brush with. Now, you go to just about any art store, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever your choice is, you can get some of this stuff for around five bucks. And all it is is just, you know, brush preserving soap. You know, I've used this over the years, plenty, and it does its job. It's good at what it does, but it's expensive. At almost five bucks a pop, I don't... You know, I go through it pretty quick when I'm using it, and I don't want to have to go, you know, spend five bucks on soap, basically, every time that I need more. So, what I have done, is I went and grabbed just a regular old bar of soap. There we go, just some Irish Spring. Just got the soap holder case, goes in there when I need to. Wet it, wipe the brush on it, and I'm good to go. Clean out the brush and have that back together. All done. Plus, nice benefit, it smells really nice. Whereas this stuff, it smells all right. You just gotta get up close to it. Now, of course, if you don't like the smell of Irish Spring, you can get whatever soap you want. Now, some people might tell you that this isn't great for brushes, and honestly, I don't know how it's gonna hold up long term. Um, I probably wouldn't use it if I was using really expensive brushes. I wouldn't use this. I, you know, I'd stick with, I'd stick with this stuff. If 
you've got really nice expensive brushes. But if you're just using some inexpensive brushes, the cheap packs that you can get, and then you know, replacing them regularly, just get a bar of soap. Save yourself the money, save yourself the hassle, you can get them anywhere. Right, next thing we're gonna talk about is checking your proportions. Now, you may have heard that if you take your artwork and hold it up into a mirror, you can see if the proportions are right, specifically in a human face. It's real easy to draw something out and it looks good when you're just looking at it straight on, but if you hold it up to a mirror, you might see that one of the eyes is a little bit lower or higher than the other, and things just aren't right. So if you can, you know, go up, hold your work up to a mirror. But a lot of times that's not very convenient. You know, I know personally, most of the mirrors I have are in the bedroom, or in the bathroom. I don't have mirrors in my studio. All you need is your phone. It's nice and simple. Just go into your camera app, set it to selfie mode, just hold your work facing your camera and then selfie mode and snap a picture. Then when you go back to look at your picture, you'll notice that it's inverted from the way the work actually looks. So that is an excellent way to tell immediately whether or not everything is lining up in proportion as it should. Next hack I want to show you is how you can make a brush holder slash dryer with just a simple pool noodle. Here's what you do. What you gotta do is cut off a segment of it. however big you want for your purposes. Toss the rest for another project. Take it. Take a nice slice right down the center. Now you're not cutting it in half, you're just cutting it so that one side of it can be pulled apart like that. And then on the opposite side, you want to make series cuts like so. And that is where, hold on a second, you can just push in the old brushes. Now when it's brand new, when you first make it, these are going to be kind of tight. So you might take a little bit of work to get the brushes in there. Once they're in there, it's going to hold really well. Now that we've made our nice brush drying rack, we can just slide it right on the shelf, grab our brushes, Slide them up in there real nice. We leave them to dry. Now once they're all dry, if you like, you can leave this up all the time. No big, but if you want a cleaner looking space, we put our brushes away. And this slides off nice and easy, we put this away. And there you have it folks, just a few simple hacks that I use pretty regularly to help my art process be just a little bit more smooth and convenient. Hope you liked all that, you know, do all the usual YouTube stuff, the like and the comments, please. If you guys have any hacks or improvements on my hacks, please let me know, I'd love to hear them. And I'll see you next time.